if it's one thing history gives us, it's an inexhaustible list of fascinating people. There are those, sure, that have lived somewhat ordinary lives, had ordinary deaths, ordinary circumstances in their lives. And then there are those who didn't, some with very famous roots, and were made very famous by their own right. Certain ambitions coming into play in this particular case will give rise to a very interesting story of a man who had a failed effort to run for the President of the United States, and despite having a very famous family member who was President, ultimately found himself questioning what it was really all about. Every stone marks a story. Interesting stories, people like you and I. History that should be recounted. Here we toast those you may or may not know who have gone on before us and left behind their tales to be told. Here we'll be drinking with dead people. In 1799, there came into this world one Andrew Donaldson. He was born around the Hermitage in north central, slightly west Tennessee. <laughs> Would ultimately build a, a, a nice plantation for himself. It was called Tulip Grove. Ultimately would sell it. But by the age of five, Andrew became an orphan and was adopted by his aunt and uncle. His uncle, Andrew Jackson the President of the United States, at least he would be down the way. And as young Andrew grew up, spent a lot of time with his famous uncle, wound up having a fine job at the White House with President Jackson. One of the things that he wound up doing was putting together the annexation package to bring in the state of Texas into the Union. Pretty sweet deal. He was also Andrew Jackson's personal secretary, so that worked out pretty well as as well. Now, after... The uh, presidential uh, run was over with. That left Andrew Jackson Donaldson in a particularly odd place. But he went back to Tennessee, worked as a lawyer, and wound up taking on various uh, interesting jobs throughout his life and built up a pretty, pretty popular career as a result of that. Now, let's back up a little bit and let's talk about Zachary Taylor. He was the president of the United States at one point with his vice president being Millard Fillmore. Well, Zachary dies, Millard Fillmore becomes president. He decides, Millard does, that he's going to run after this completed term. He's going to run for a full term after that. But he needed a running mate. So who did he call? Andrew Jackson Donaldson. And they ran under the Know Nothing Party. The Know Nothing Party, it's an interesting bit of American history. The Know Nothings were a secret society at one point. They started out his way. And they were anti-Catholic, anti-immigration. They were nativists. Uh, they, xenophobia was kind of their platform. Well, at any rate, uh, Millard Fillmore grabs Andrew Jackson Donaldson to as his running mate, thinking a little star power might help him out. Unfortunately, it didn't. They lost. With Fillmore's stunning defeat at the ballot box, that would end the career of Millard Fillmore, who would never again set foot in the White House as President of the United States. And it also dashed the career of our friend here, Andrew Jackson Donaldson, who would leave service entirely and return to his plantation near the Hermitage, Tulip Grove. It was originally named Walnut Grove, but a friend insisted that he change the name to Tulip Grove, and he did. He lived there for quite some time complaining as he did in his last years before selling it and moving to Memphis and still complaining. One of his more famous complaints, he groused a lot about having to pay African Americans any sort of living wage. He felt, in his words, they were once slaves. Why should I have to give them money now? Thankfully, the defeat with Millard Fillmore and Mr. Donaldson, it was the end of the Know Nothing Party as well with their platform of hate. Who knew 150 years ago, even then, that running on such a platform would be detrimental to a political career? Lessons learned? Perhaps. And to that, we'll drink to it. Join us next time as we wander the headstones of history and go drinking with dead people.